MMA Fight Corner. Joining us now on MMA Fight Corner, number 11 ranked Tyron Woodley of the UFC welterweight division, who's taking on Carlos Condit, the natural born killer in the co-main event of UFC 171. That's this Saturday, March 15th. Make sure to get it on pay-per-view. First of all, Tyron, we know that you went out there and you were hounding Dana to get this fight. He said that you must have texted him and called him about what, 50 times? How many times would you say that you uh, called Dana to get this fight going for yourself? I sent him a couple long text messages, so they might have broken up until the number he came about, which was, I think, <laughs> like 15 times. Um, you know, I, I was just adamant, and, you know, I, I really felt that um, this spot was a great matchup, and that was really that all it had to be. It's a great matchup. The fans are so excited about it. I'm getting so many people blasting me on Twitter and, and Instagram saying that they're more, they bought the pay-per-view for this fight. They, this is the main event to them because of the style matchup. So not taking away from the main event. Those guys are knockout artists, and I think I think somebody's going down in that fight. Um, but, but I just think that it was a great matchup, and in victory it puts me in a position to be next in line for a world title. And now that you have that opportunity right in front of you, like you said, uh, it's the people's main event. You're on that level right now where this can open huge doors for you. How much would you say that you're both physically and mentally ready for this challenge? I'm um, both physically and mentally. And part of the mental preparation is blocking all that out. You know, I can focus on what this does, how many doors it's going to open for me. What it does to me financially, I'll be fighting for the world title. If I if I beat this fight and this guy wins his fight, will I fight this guy? We can really go all day with you know what happens afterwards. But really, the the fact of the matter is, I got to focus on Carlos Condit, beating him, good fashion, going out there and showcasing what I can do, and and being um, on all cylinders for myself for my career. My goal is to go out there and give to give you guys ninety, one hundred percent of what I'm capable of doing every time. And when I do that, you know, I, I think I win most of my fights. So that, that's my goal. Everything else will handle itself um, in victory. So when you look at Condit, uh, a lot of people have pointed out his wrestling as his downfall. I mean, Johnny was able to take him down a dozen times in their fight. And he's actually, you know, brought it up himself that it's the main area he wants to improve. And we know that you have that wrestling background. So do you think that that's something that you're going to look to exploit? Uh, I'm just going to look to put it in, in the overall mixed martial art performance on. I think um, if, if he's openly saying that this is an area that he needs to work on and everybody knows my credentials in wrestling, um, would you think that he's overly prepared for wrestling? I mean, if, if I was fighting me and I was him, I would do most of my training on defense to wrestling range, not letting me get close in the first place. And if I get taken down, you know, they're, they're doing damage control. He's going to take you down, Carlos. When you get down, this is what you do. So they've already probably taken it to the point where they know he's going to get taken now. So for me, it's just really execute my game plan based upon what I think they're preparing for for me, which is probably a lot of pressure, a lot of forward, a lot of power, a lot of right hands, a lot of takedowns. And for me, it's just really just giving them that plus more and um, really just showing them that I've run as a fighter. And what they've watched on film is, you know, that's Stone Age now because I'm, I'm in a different phase in my life mentally, physically, and, and I'm just ready to be the champion. Something that I had asked you actually on the conference call earlier this week was about that Nate Marquardt fight. And you had said how much you'd grown from that experience. And I was curious if you could, just for our show, actually tell the fans how you grew from the experience of fighting Nate Marquardt in Strike Force for the title. And though you lost that fight, what you learned from it, how you grew as a fighter. You know, I should almost thank Nate Marquardt, you know, for, for me, it really, it took me out of the comfort zone. You know, you can't be, you can't achieve greatness with comfort. You know, Muhammad Ali said, none of this is comfort. He said, I hated every day um, of training. I hated every day of practice, he said, but when you push through it, he said, you'll be a champion forever. You know, and that, that, that puts things on a different perspective when you're thinking about all the hard training and all the, you know, all the things that can happen. When you're comfortable knowing I can lose, I can get knocked out. I can get knocked out in front of my sons. I can, you know, have my undefeated record blemish. I can lose in a world title situation, and I can keep moving forward after that, and I can keep taking. That puts me in a different mindset, and um, the fear and anxiety of loss, defeat, 
of being knocked out, of being, you know, you know, losing in front of millions of people or my family, those things aren't on the back of my mind anymore. You know, it's not, it's not something that, that I'm trying to protect. You know, the only thing that I fear is that I don't go out there and I don't give 100%. That's my most fear in any fight. You know, I don't fear that he's going to kill me, that he's going to freaking, you know, kick me in a spleen and, and rupture. I, I just really fear that I don't go out there. So everything in my power, through timing, through drills, through sparring, through just forcing it out. And when I get out in a fight, I can be a machine that's just reacting and not overthinking. So that's really, really what that, that fight did for me. And uh, as far as the fights here that you've had at the UFC, uh, you had two first round knockouts, like you mentioned earlier, against very grizzled veterans and Josh Koscheck and Jay Haran. And you know, those two knockouts have propelled you to this point. Has this been confirmed to you from the UFC brass that if you get a win that you'll in fact fight for the welterweight title next? Yeah, it's been confirmed that this is a number one contendership out. And um, the fans and, and media, they want to put a spin on it. You know, they want to say that if Carlos wins, he gets the fight. You know, to me, it's really clear and cut from Dana, you know, from tweets and, you know, conversation that a number one contendership bout means that the victor over this fighter is the number one contender. And the number one contender has the next fight against the, the world champion. I think that's why it's matched up as a co-made event. You guys get a showcase of who the next contender is right on the same night that you find out who the next champion is. So um, it's been 100% confirmed to me and, um, you know, in, in everything that you can hear it in. So I'm just focused on winning. And, you know, my goal is to go out there every fight, give everything I got, you know, try to get the guy out of there as many times as I can. And if, and if that doesn't happen, then time is rising, I'll still win. So if I do that every fight, it doesn't matter if it's a world title, it doesn't matter if it's a co-main event. You know, that, that pressure and that, you know, those those implications, you can put too much pressure on yourself. And for me, you know, I really focus the last three to four weeks on just blotting those things out and just really focusing on performance. So what do you think here about the main event? We have Johnny Hendricks and Robbie Lawler going head-to-head -head for the vacant welterweight championship, and it's the first time in the UFC that we're going to see the title, a new title holder since what, about, what, 2007. What what do you take away from that fight? You said earlier you think someone's going to get knocked out. Yeah, you know, I just think these guys are coming to knock each other out. I think who gets the first left hand is really going to you know, dictate your pace. Um, the first left hand might not knock the person out on sight, but these guys both have shown one-punch knockout power. Um, I think it brings more excitement to the uh, welterweight division. I think when GSP first was champion in the beginning of his career, he finished a lot of great guys. He went out there and showed a dynamic game. And I think, um, you know, being a champion is more than what people expect. It's not about, you know, finishing every fighter. The guys like, you know, John Jones has been very lucky to, to, to go out there without hesitating and just try things and be spectacular and be longer and be more dynamic than his opponents. But, you know, think about Jose Aldo. You know, he had three or four decisions lately. Or, you know, Dotson, who had a lot of decisions before his last knockout. Champions, you, you got, you're the target. Everybody's coming for you. You have to, you know, conquer the ground. One, then you have to reign over it, and you got to rule over it. You got to, you got to hold on to your belt. So I think the pressure that he got, you know, was a lot. And I think, um, you know, once people get in a position where they're champion, they realize how important it is to stay champion and what you have to do. And some guys just don't want to get finished. So I think we're going to get a treat in this fight. Um, you know, I think, you know, the next fight is a treat as well. And I think there's a lot of fights coming after that. Um, with, with new contenders and fresh meat that's coming into the division that's, that's going to make it stay inside for a very long time. Well, Tyron, we'd like to thank you for your time very much here. We know you've got a busy day here. Get, got fight week going on down there in Dallas. Uh, again, that's at the American Airlines Arena, UFC 171, available on pay-per-view. And main event, Johnny Hendricks versus Robbie Lawler for the welterweight title. And the co-main event, Carlos Condit versus Tyron Woodley. And that is a welterweight title eliminator. Tyron, again, thank you so much for your time and best of luck to you, man. All right, thank you. I appreciate it.